Welcome to the seventh video in this series, How to Use Evernote to Raise Your Grades. In this video, I will be dealing with the search bar and the attributes feature in the Evernote program. When you open the Evernote window, the search bar and the attributes feature are both in the left two sidebars. That'd be the main one here and this left one. The attributes feature is located beneath the tags and as you can see this little arrow opens the attributes feature and it has a bunch of different drop downs so that you can find notes based on certain features about the note. When it was created you can find notes when they were created since a certain time or before a certain time. Likewise you can do a search based on what the note may contain images, audio, an ink note, etc. There's a whole list of things here. There's also an attribute for the source of the note, whether that note was emailed to Evernote through the share feature, whether you clipped it off of a web page, or if you just wrote in a text note. These are very important because when you go to find a note, sometimes you can't remember how you stored it or what you stored it under, but you can remember that it had a picture with it or that you stored it with a link in the text, that you created it within the last 60 days. These attributes will help you find your note quickly and not have to go searching through a whole stack of notes. The second part of this video will deal with the search bar and when I go to Origin of Castles here, let's go to the whole notebook. The search bar is located in the top of this window and it works very much like a web browser search engine and then as soon as you start typing in words it will start searching and in the right window it will highlight the first note and then it will highlight the search words throughout that note so the note that has the most similar words will go to the top of the list let's put in castle royal england all right, there's no notes with that name, but there was one with castle and royal in it. Here, relate to royal castles. So you can see that that's uh, a pretty effective way to find your notes. You can put in any words that you think might be in the note, and if they are in fact in that note, then they will come up really quick, and you'll be able to find your notes. Again, this is why it's important to give effective titles and tags to your note so that it is easy to differentiate between the different notes without reading all of your notes or having to search through a whole stack of them. That wraps up this video on the search bar and the attributes feature. In the next video I will be demonstrating how to download and use the Evernote Web Clipper.